been a big subject that uh, has really gotten me into doing what I'm doing now, but it just completely fascinates me in several things, but just uh, the history of human beings is far older and far more fascinating than what we've been taught. And history in general is fascinating to me, but what I mean specifically is the megalithic architecture that's shown all around the world, literally every continent, all around the world there is what you would call megalithic architecture. Um, and you know, megalithic is meaning lore stones that are stacked on top of it. Just weird stuff. And I'm not going to say who or what had done that just yet. Yes, you can move, you can move large stuff and do some really amazing stuff with people, with, like in some room. Like you can do in leverage, you can do a lot of cool stuff, but then there's, you get deeper into it and you realize, you know, a lot of stuff in Egypt, a lot of stuff in South America and Peru is weird, where you really look at it and you're like, man, man, man how, how exactly was this done? And supposedly, and everything is always older than what is accepted now. I mean, it's everything now in the scientific community, it's getting more and more accepted that things are getting pushed back and pushed back as far as dating. And uh, it's just fascinating. It's fascinating, and one of the other subjects, and I, I, this is why I need like a computer. I need, I want to start doing more of a presentation, um, you know, show pictures and video clips and stuff uh, for this type of subject. The other video is I just kind of have like a thought, and I shoot a quick video on it, little to no editing, which is awesome. Um, but per, the the elongated skulls of Paracas, Peru. Um, and I'm going to have to shout out Brian Forster, who is an author and a pioneer and the one leading the way for research for these sorts of things. And he's got a channel on YouTube. He, he walks around. I mean, he, this is what he does for a living. So he has access to stuff that not everybody has access to. Just walks around with a camera and, and looks at, you know, in Egypt, around the Great Pyramid. They go in the Great Pyramid and there's people in there. And you get this really first person experience through his content and I've watched it for years now and it's completely fascinating but the Paracas skulls you know the confusion with with these in the scientific community is that there they still do there is skulls and they still do it today they do head binding or board binding uh, as an infant when the uh, the child's head is is really shape it so they wrap it and then when they grow up they have these cone heads that does happen but in the things that Brian uh, is, is uh, I give him a lot of credit for hold on a second here. he shows up close there up close video and pictures of these skulls that are definitely elongated but there's some characteristics if you pay attention here very bizarre and it, it gives you one answer. Sorry, the sun is like... Um, there are, these are genetically birthed elongated skulls. There's no doubt about that. The, he, and he gives several characteristics that... I mean, engineers are looking at the stuff, not that, but the pyramid stuff. And he's got medical personnel, a doctor come to Peru and, and just say, well, what are we looking at? And um, they all pretty much say that this is, first of all, the size of the skull is, is huge. And that's what's cool about what he does is he'll have on a table three skulls. One would be just a normal human being. And the other two would be these practice, practice skulls. And first of all, they're twice the size of a human skull. The eye sockets are gigantic. The the man, manual, the whole head is gigantic, and the the style of head you can tell by looking at it that it's that it looks natural. It doesn't look like you know artificial in any way. And um, so I'm gonna try to not die here. Um, 
So the work that Brian Forrester does is, is like I want to, you know, it's something that I reference multiple times is uh, Keys to Self-Discipline. Seven Keys, to, or a Neuropsychology of Self-Discipline is an audio book that I made content on. One of the things is, is to have a vision and, and find a role model and find somebody that is doing what you would like to do and emulate them. Um, and, and Brian is definitely, like I, I would love to travel around the world and, and have it be my job and be, um, be, be paid to figure out the past. And, and the bottom line is that there is another, just like Neanderthals and recently discovered Dennis Oven, there are other human beings that existed and there's homo, homo paracus is what you would call the practice goes. It's a different, it's not alien, not alien. I mean, it's kind of alien, but it's not alien. That's why, like, it's maybe the aliens aren't from somewhere else. They're from here. Like, they've always been here. Just like the other UFOs that they're finding, it's, it's always been here. Which makes it even more of a mystery. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to cut it short here. This is kind of a, I just wanted to get this out there and stay active on YouTube. So, check out Brian Forrester on YouTube. He's got an Instagram page as well, so. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and peace.